channel if you're new here hello my name is Carmen and I make fashion and lifestyle content so if you guys are interested in that please consider subscribing so today's video is summer wardrobe staples so all of these items I'm going to talk about are silhouettes and styles that I recommend the specific color is up to you I love whites and blue denims and blacks so that's everything that I picked out. These specific items are just the items that worked out for me that I've been loving, but it's totally up to you to just take my advice and go shopping with it. So the main takeaways from this are that layering is key, even in summer you can still do it. Playing with textures definitely upgrades your outfit and makes it really interesting and unique in my opinion. And with that, let's get into the video. So I'm going to start with tops. I think tops are really important and some good basic ones that are flattering on your body are definitely needed in the wardrobe so of course I have to recommend a cropped tank or tee that's up to you I just have a cropped tank here it's from forever 21 I love the cut of it and it's super flattering so yeah you can really find your basics anywhere and this is definitely cut in a really trendy style so I really like this one what I found recently as well is that bra tops are in. This is definitely like a personal preference. It definitely is a lot of fun when it comes to styling outfits and of course it's been really trendy. So if you're up to trying it, definitely get yourself a really nice flattering bra top. This one is from Sunday Best, which is Aritzia's brand and I got it in an extra small. It's really nice quality and most importantly, I think the cut of it is really, really nice. So you can see throughout this entire video, all of the outfits are just made up of these bra tops and then this cropped tank. And I think all of the outfits look really nice put together because it's a really nice basic that's flattering on my body type. So I think it really pulls the outfit together. So next I want to talk about one of my favorite items in this selection, which is the Levi's Dad Jeans. These are a recent pickup, but they have quickly become one of my favorite items in my wardrobe and I'm so glad I picked them up. I'm pretty particular about Levi's jeans. I really love this fabric. It's not stiff like the 100% wedgies denim are. They're a little bit softer and a little bit thinner. So I think they're really good to be worn in warmer weather. So you can definitely whip these out on like a cooler summer day and they definitely transition into fall as well. So you'll definitely be seeing a lot of these on my channel. It definitely has that iconic Levi's logo. So that's also a plus. I'll be linking everything in the description box down below. So if you guys are interested in checking out any of the items, everything will be there. I'll include the color and the size that I got. So I did my best to show you guys all all the combinations of outfits that you can put together with these jeans so you'll be seeing a ton of outfits right now really proud of them and they all go so well together these dad jeans are a really trendy fit right now they're a little bit looser and baggier which makes them really comfortable and I think they make you look super stylish and make your outfit really trendy because of the fit so I love these so much I've been obsessed with looser jeans so of course you have to have denim jeans in your wardrobe. So I picked out some of my favorite. I picked out two denim shorts, of course, because you can never have enough, but I just wanted to give you guys options. This pair is a little bit lighter and a little bit longer. I've really been into like the high-waisted long line denim jeans. I think they're really comfortable and age appropriate, but they also look so trendy and I'm so glad that they're in because they just like serve everything that I want in a pair of denim shorts. So these are from Princess Polly, I believe in a size six and they fit like this on me. They're a little bit loose, but again, I prefer loose denim over tight denim. I, I think it looks super relaxed and it's super comfortable as well. This pair is a pretty light wash, so I went ahead and picked like a medium light wash. This is still considered a light wash, but I think it's like darker than this one. These are the BDG brand from Urban Outfitters. These have become my new favorite jeans. They flare out the tiniest bit, I think because it's like an A-line 
style and they really hug the waist they're super flattering on the color that it comes in is definitely one of my favorite colors that denim comes in the only thing is that i have to size up to a 27 i think that is because again it is an a-line style so i'm a little bit wider in the hips so i couldn't get size 26 up my hips so i size up to a 27 so i'm really happy i was able to find a size that fits me even though even though i had to size up so yeah again you can never go wrong with denim shorts these are the style that are in now they're a little bit longer still high-waisted and a little bit loose so you guys will be seeing like all the combinations of outfits that I made with these blue denim shorts. So next is the black edition of denim shorts. These are a little bit different because, again, because I've been super into like more relaxed fits for bottoms. So these are longer and they're adjustable in the waist. They have little ties in them and I just really love it. It's in a black washed denim color and you guys can see the combinations of outfits that I put together with these denim shorts as well and especially I love the black on black outfits they look so cool so edgy and they look so put together and really all you had to do was just match the color of your tops and bottoms so the last two bottoms are really fun additions to your wardrobe and I definitely think they give a different feel to the entire outfit although they are the same items that I've been showing you guys like paired with denim shorts and denim bottoms so the next one is the most flattering black skirt that I've ever come across so this is from the brand Lioness I got it in a size small I got this from Princess Polly and it has like a really flattering slit at the side so you can definitely dress this up and dress this down again you can see it with the combinations of outfits that I put together with this item they give a completely different feel and they kind of make it a little bit girlier but the other items make it like super unique and a little bit edgy which I really love again because this item is black with the outfits that are black on black just makes it so cool and so effortless so my last item are biker shorts biker shorts have really been in in the last few years my favorite black biker shorts are these from the brand TNA, which is Aritzia's brand. The style that I have it in is TNA Butter, so it's really soft, soft like butter, which is the branding. I love it so much. They're so flattering. They definitely cinch you in a little bit because they're so high-waisted, which I love. I got this in a size extra small, and they're really flattering on. You can definitely see that in the try-on with the outfits. And I love biker shorts because they really dress down your outfit but really show off your figure. So I really love that about biker shorts. And again, you can see with the same combination of outfits, they give a completely different feel. It's like relaxed, it's chill, but it's still put together and still super stylish. So I really love mixing in biker shorts into my outfits. And of course, you can still work out with these, but they still function as like a style piece, which is definitely a plus. So I love it so much. So the next category of items is like outerwear and overshirts. I love this for throwing over outfits or for layering or just wearing it as a shirt, which I love as well. I think personally my style does show skin, so I show my midriff, I show my legs and my arms and everything like that. So I think throwing an overshirt or outerwear over my outfit when I feel self-conscious definitely still keeps me confident and even more it adds to your outfit, it adds texture and layers and it just makes your outfit more interesting. So these are the three items that I found myself wearing a ton and I really recommend it to anyone. So, so the first item is an oversized dress shirt. These I fully recommend for you guys to thrift. I got this for like eight bucks and it is from Ralph Lauren. And the thrift shops have a ton of these so you can just really go in and find the specific color and the style that you're looking for. It's really fun to be on the hunt for one that you love and this is the one that I'm loving now. When you add this to an outfit, it just makes your outfit look really relaxed. Again, it adds to the layers and it makes it a little bit preppy, which I like. And I really like the light blue color that I found it in. It just makes it really chill and you guys can see the combinations of outfits that I made with this shirt. So if you are to get any shirt to wear as an overshirt, I would definitely recommend getting like a white 
linen one. This is my all-time favorite shirt because of the details. It has this really feminine detail on one of the sides, so it has like these little loops, and I just love that addition. It just makes the shirt completely different. So the side has a little slit, so what I like to do when a shirt has a slit on the side is that I like to tie the front up so it crops it a little bit and you can show your figure when you wear it as a shirt by itself. So I really love that version. I got this in a size medium and it's from Urban Outfitters. Again, everything will be linked down below. This is my favorite top ever and I did size up a little bit because I wanted it to fit a little bit looser, a little bit more relaxed. I just like to go for items that fit like that. And again, you can throw it over any of your outfits and it will add to an outfit. Again, because it's white, I don't think it clashes with any other colors. And because of the texture, I feel like it just makes your outfits like easy and breezy and super relaxed. So I love this. So the last outerwear item is the blazer. It's a blazer. I definitely think you can wear this on cooler summer days. And I really love playing with structured pieces like this. The fit of this blazer is oversized. So I think it definitely adds a lot of style and flavor to your outfit with whatever you pair this with. You guys can see this with the denim jeans. You can see this with the denim shorts, the biker shorts, the skirt. All of it just goes so well together because I really love the oversized silhouette. The color is also a, a neutral color, so it goes with all of the items in this selection. I got this from The Dallant. They're known for their blazers, so definitely check them out if you're looking for a really nice blazer to invest in. This is definitely one of my favorites, and I think this can go with so many different seasons and so many different outfits. And I think it definitely adds to a summer outfit when you throw a blazer over it. It just looks so cool and puts together and then when you mix it with different items that are known to be more relaxed it definitely changes up the look completely and the last clothing item for summer is of course a dress i think this is a really nice basic dress that you can wear for many seasons and it's in white so it's a basic color but the cut of it i think is super flattering on so many body types so this is from Princess Polly. This is like their halter mini dress. It's super flattering on me and I really want you guys to check it out. This is in a size US 4 and again you can pair it with any of the outerwear items that I showed you guys. So definitely I would recommend picking out a flattering summer dress to add to your wardrobe. So that's all the clothing items that I recommend. They're really well thought out for the selections. A handful of tops, a handful of bottoms, and a handful of over shirts and outerwear. I think any of these items would add to anyone's wardrobe. They're super stylish. And definitely let me know if you guys plan on adding any of them. I'm super excited to hear about it. So next are accessories. If anything, I think accessories are super duper important. So first are the sunglasses that I wore through the entire video. So these are from Italic. They are their cat eye sunglasses. They're really good quality and I think they're made in a really nice cut. I think you can definitely shop for this style you can find them anywhere definitely find a pair of sunglasses that fit your face that are flattering and that you can wear in a lot of different occasions like you guys can see in all of the outfits like you can dress these up and down and they go with everything and I think another thing that is important is that you like the sunglasses in any hairstyle that you put your hair in so if you clip your hair back do you like the way that the sunglasses look when you tie your hair up and of course with your hair down so of course I got these in like a really basic black color and I think I'm gonna have them literally forever because they're just like a classic like cat eye sunglass so these are definitely a favorite of mine right now so the next accessory that I recommend is a black shoulder bag I picked out two different bags just to share with you guys from different price ranges. I think they serve the same purpose. This one is from Pita and Jane. It is their black shoulder bag. It's a nylon material and then the strap is like a faux leather. I like this one because the strap is really long so it's really comfortable when you wear it. And of course it is in an affordable price range. So definitely check this one out. I got this from Princess Polly but the brand is Pita and Jane. And actually because I found myself wearing this one so much, I ended up upgrading it and getting like the designer version of it which is Prada's Nylon Re-Edition. I think your 2000 mini bag. So this is Prada's shoulder bag. This one has a little bit less space than the Pita and Jane one, but I can still wear it 
under my arm and this has definitely been my favorite bag recently it adds so much to an outfit and of course because it's black it goes with everything so I definitely recommend this if you guys are looking for a shoulder bag and the last items that I have to recommend are shoes I just picked these up these these are the black Birkenstocks I am a size 37 in these which are about like a six to six and a half US. I love the black leather. I think it matches so well with the black bag and with any outfit it just ties together because those two items match in color. So I really love these. These are so comfortable and I love that they're relaxed and I'm really glad that Birkenstocks are considered stylish now. So I definitely recommend picking up like a pair of casual black strappy sandals i think they add so much to a summer outfit the birkenstocks are definitely like a known brand so i think these are really worth investing and again they're super comfortable so you can wear them in like a ton of different occasions The last item that I have to recommend are sneakers. These are a little bit different from the Air Force Ones. They are a little bit chunkier and they have a little bit taller of a platform. For short girls like me, they add a teeny tiny more height than the Air Force Ones. These are the Air Force One Shadows. So they have this cool little label on the side and they're definitely like a little bit edgier. I totally recommend these sneakers if you're getting into sneakers or you don't know what pair to get. This is the pair that I recommend. They go well with all the items that make up the outfits in this video. And Air Force Ones you really can't go wrong with. This is like a cool addition to that. And again, they add a little bit of hype, so that's really cool. And with that, that was my summer wardrobe staples. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun putting it together and trying on all the different outfits because I just think it's so cool that you can make so many different outfits with this amount of items. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please give it a like. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! So if I never told you